It's one o'clock, Sook, on a Tuesday. The regular crowd. I was crowd. just listening to Billy Joel Radio on Sirius XM. I know. It. That's why I have it. That's why I have it in my head, Billy Joel Channel. You, oh know what pisses, you know what pisses me off, though, about the Billy Joel Channel? It's so hard to catch a good Billy Joel song. During the day, you got to listen all day long. Every time I try to pop in, it's some okay. like, you know, some obscure Billy Joel song. He's talking about well, why, why he wrote it. That's why they call it the Billy Joel uh, radio. Sook, I want, now, I, it's I, supposed to be obscurity. Sook, I want Brenda and Eddie. We're still going steady in the summer of 75. You know, that's what so I want. Funny. I want that Billy Joel. They had Clive Davis actually talking about New York State of Mind. And they were talking about the lyrics of New York state of mind and the simplicity of it. And like, right. you know, how lyrically why it's able to stand the test of time, because it's like anybody can understand it. Like, you know, some folks like to get away. And you know what I heard today? Holiday. Also, I was at the gym this morning and I heard, remember Charlie, oh remember God. Baker. Yeah. They left their child. That's a great child song. That's Lord. that's a uh, good night, Saigon. They left their... I know. Right? <laughs> I mean, can I tell you something? Uh, you know, we were talking, I think it was A.J. Smith last week, and how for most New Yorkers or people on the East Coast, definitely like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Billy Joel is is sort of the soundtrack, you know? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, and to a lot of, and you know, people started getting on top of me, like, you know, uh, on the boards here, a lot of, a lot of the viewers were saying, He's he's a soundtrack for everybody, but like no, really New York. Like yeah, you got to be in New York because he's from Long Island, Sue. Like yeah, he's from Long Island, and like Jersey is like Springsteen. Yeah, and we bon all love Jovi. Springsteen. But... Bon Jovi, dude. Anchovy. Uh, listen, we uh, we have an amazing show. We've got great shows all week. Uh, James Cullen Bresek is here. Uh, he's a, a Hollywood director, screenwriter, producer. He's got a new movie coming out called Surviving the Game Soup, which I think is, I, I think he made the movie about us living through COVID and surviving in the broadcast business. Um, but it stars Bruce Willis, Chad Michael Murray. It's a really, it's like, a, it, it's a, a, an explosive crime thriller. Uh, and it, it looks so cool. Uh, and then we got Shiva Nagar coming up. She's uh, from SEAL Team on CBS. Um, yes, she, yeah. she was an American assassin. Uh, some great movies, some great TV show, shows. She's coming up. You want to get this thing started? Philly Kid is back later on. Phil will be joining us later. And uh, we roll along. Show number 270 something or other. Uh, Let's do it. We got our Here flannels we go, on. So Kick it off. Yeah. Did, did you call me this morning to wear a flannel shirt? I called shirt? you. I called you. <laughs> Here we go. The Suki and Scott Show. This is one of the funnest shows I've ever done. <laughs> When you're with me, I'm smiling. It's musical. It's magical. Sookie and Scott, the seven of hearts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I never this is a sexy show. Someone's getting some action. Now, these larger-than-life personalities are on an exciting new journey as they bring you the Suki and Scott Show. You guys I nailed it. You're great. You ask great questions. You listen. I answered you because I have respect for you guys and it was a question respectfully put. The Suki and Scott Show is your one-stop destination for humor. You like De Niro and Kate Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Counselor! Entertainment. Jesse's girl. girl! Wonderful! Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? <laughs> and optimism. You guys have such amazing energy. Ultraviolet light, it gets in there and it just fights. It just fights the uh, gun flu. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Let's laugh together. I we'll love him. The Suki and Scott Show. Mwah. Let's laugh together. Suk, you look so well rested. Your kids are out of the house. I, I just, you know, I like the quiet, you know. It's the simple things that make me happy, Scotty. You get to a certain point in your life, it's the simple things, you know? I hear you, babe. Listen, uh, a little little housekeeping, a little upset. Somebody won the $700 million California. Powerball. Can you imagine? They take home like $400 million cash straight up. And uh, that's, you know what? That's bogus, Sook. One person wins. How many millions of people? I think that's fantastic, people? actually. I think that's ah. fantastic. Because can you imagine? He could be handing out 10, 10 million here. You get a million. You get a million. You get a million. I, I don't even know what my re initial response would be. The minute I saw I got all five numbers on the Powerball, I would just like, I think I'd strip my clothes off 
and I'd run through my streets naked is what I would do. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd have to do I it. Would, uh, I would completely become unlisted and unknown. <laughs> like I would just, hey. But you know what I love you, about that is that it's generational wealth, that kind of money. Like that's forever for you, the rest of your family. Oh, you yeah. For, for as long as the world is here. Know. Yeah. As long as the world is here, you're covered. Um, <laughs> Which nowadays we don't know. By no. the way, um, hey, we're back. Facebook, Instagram. You know, there was a huge outage yes. yesterday. Did you feel it? Did you experience <laughs> it? Did you have a little angsty moments? Sook, Instagram was out. I went four hours without seeing a, a, an Instagram model post a picture of a hot fudge sundae she was about to eat. And I was really, I was feeling lonely. You know how they make the face like, oh my God, I'm going in for the hot fudge sundae. What am I going to do? <laughs> I mean, I, if people were like, oh my God, I can't believe I survived. I was like, survived? Yeah, yeah. Well, they already made shirts. Yeah, I survived. talking about? I survived the Facebook outage of 2021. It was You're actually like, kind of it was kind of nice. It was nice not knowing that anything was there. It kept me away from my phone a little bit. I I was away from I, I love being away from my phone. As you well know, I don't yeah. really want to be around my phone at all. Um but yeah, it was just um you know, I think it's all that nonsensical stuff. Of course, that comes on the heels of the 60 minutes whistleblower ah, basically the whistleblower. saying Facebook. Yep. Thieves, crooks. Is- they hate us, Facebook. Manipulating us. the situation <laughs> and using their money for evil. Yes, yes. It's the evil empire, Soup. They say the Yankees yes. are the evil I mean, empire. Like, come on. Like, we know what's happening. Don't you know what's happening, Scotty? So here's what I don't get. When I go on to Facebook, I look at pictures. I say happy birthday to somebody. I get off of Facebook. Who, nobody's manipulating me on Facebook. You know what I mean? I don't know how. They're why is everybody getting manipulated? Minds. I, I don't get it. I mean, is it weak-minded people? They I, Listen, I know like every once in a while, my mother will call them. Did you read on Facebook? Michelle Obama's really a man. I'm like, Ma, she's not a, she's not a man. I swear. It's Facebook. It's all bullshit. Don't don't fall for it. Don't read your news on Facebook. Just let them wish you a happy birthday and post a couple pictures. That's all you got to do. It, it's wild. Put a picture of your kid. You wished your wife a happy anniversary. I that's, mean, that's it. That's what it's all about. Let's not let's not get it twisted. But the problem is, so many people who make money off of Facebook <clears throat> has now turned into a, you know a platform over the last ten years with influencers. You know that's their livelihood. It's huge, so huge it's, it, it has turned into something else, you know, like the people that cook and everything is clean and everything is perfect. Yeah. The girls who try on clothes, the girls who take <laughs> off clothes, the people who TikTok and all day long. I love it. I love it. Suk, listen, we have a great show. James Cullen Bressack is here. He's coming up in a second. Shiva Nagar is coming up later on. Hollywood actress, also a producer. She's a model as well. Uh, right now, I think she's currently on SEAL Team 6. Uh, or just SEAL Team. Forget SEAL Team 6. Um, she's on Heartland, Souk. And you know what? Before we bring Seal James team in. Six was the team that went that in. Was the, yeah, that was the team Obama. that killed killed Obama, right? Obama. Osama. Um, Osama I want to show, Souk, I'm going to show her this because on Stir, we are ahead of Heartland, the number one show uh, on the Stir platform. She's on Heartland. So I got to show her that the show she's on now is ahead of the show she's on, the real TV show. Do you want to just like give it to her? Is that why you're doing that? I love doing that. Yeah, I love that. Um, Listen, there's a new movie coming out on Friday. Um, It's called Survive the Game. Bruce Willis, Chad Michael Murray, a cast of others. Um, James Cullen Bressack is the director of the movie. He's here with us today all the way from L.A. So we're going to get to him. Here's here's a little uh, trailer of the movie, Souk. And now we're going to bring uh, James in on the other side. Take a look at this. I've been chasing their boss forever. This might go south. Hell of a day, isn't it, partner? Up here. Go, go, go. You let her go, bitch. Don't you touch my baby. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. You all need to leave. Please, mister. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a cop. These two just shot my partner down the road. Run! I need you to get to safety. These people will kill you. This is my farm. They don't belong here. Who's 
are these guys? They're drug dealers, scumbags. You're my prisoner until my boss gets here. I'm finishing this alone. I will defend this land. This is certainly a development. We came here to kill. Or did any of you not get the memo on that? Because evidently this cop did. I expect you and I are so different. Nothing like you. I got shot today. And I'm tied up. And you still hit like a bitch. You need my help. That's the house that I shared with my wife. That is all I've got left. All right. Let's go save him. I got your back. We kill or be killed. Run! I gotta finish this. Run or arrest. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna kill you. I'm not going anywhere. This is my farm. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Looking good! Hey. Repping some New York Pride too for you. So, <laughs> James, uh, was, let's... Look, my cat joined. The cat joined. Wow! He, he he climbs up. If I sit on my my chair too long, he just climbs up and joins the. Uh... I love him. And what's his name? What's his name? His name is Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Marty Scorsese. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's Martin, a great. Do you call name. him Marty? Do you call him Martin? What do you call him? I call him. I, I call him Martin. Martin. <laughs> Martin. He's almost as he's almost as tall as the real Marty Scorsese, you know? <laughs> he just keeps he's just like he's just he just wants to hang out on my lap right now. <laughs> That's so funny. How That's old is how old is Martin? So he's he's uh two I got him at the very start of COVID. So basically oh. like what I have a I have a sixteen year old cat, her name is Billy. And uh and Basically, uh, I wanted her to have like a friend or like so. I this this lady, um, you can go on like Pet Finder and find like foster things. And so, if you already have a cat, they let you like try out the cat. So, like, oh. I like you know, to see if your cat can like get along with it, like, integrate yeah. it. The, the cat will come over for like a day or two or something. So, she comes and brings Martin over, um, and like literally the next morning we go into lockdown and so like she was not able to come back for like three months <laughs> and so by the time she's like she's like hey so uh i can pick up the cat now i'm just like no nah, i'm just keeping him i'm just uh, <laughs> just keep it yeah just leave it but for the first like three months of me having him he just howled non-stop like 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 literally non-stop like into the air that is so funny. Well, listen, I'm I'm the only thing I'm allergic to is cats. So if I start to sneeze, I'll know. I'll know. I'll know. Yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense. I didn't even know cats howled. I didn't know. Yeah, he, he was like, he'd be like like almost like it sounded similar to like a very high pitched version of a uh, a wolf. But like I guess like what was happening, I ended up taking him to the vet after like the three months because we could go out. I was like, okay, like, what is, you know, what's wrong with him? Like, because I was like, this is, this can't be normal. And he had impacted wax. And so he couldn't hear himself. So he was trying to, like, hear himself. Yeah, oh, yeah he was yeah. trying to hear himself talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, James, listen, man, you, uh, you got this insane looking movie coming out October 8th, Survive the Game. Uh, the trailer looked phenomenal. I mean, so, so you know, typical looks <laughs> like you know, typical Bruce Willis, you know, crazy stuff. Um, first of all, let, let me ask you a question. So, this comes out on the 8th on Friday in select theaters and digital as well. Um, what was it, you know, what was it like? Was that the first time you worked with Bruce and Chad? Was it, was yeah, it, it was cool? the first time working with Bruce and Chad? I mean, it was for sure for me, like, I think I posted somewhere on Instagram at some point, but I was like, you know, little kid me was giving like adult me a high five it's like, like it's awesome i was like, like you know, yippee ki yay yeah yippee yeah right and it's it's so weird because like I, i've worked with like many different actors and and like half the time like you don't really fully realize that you're working with the person until you see them in front of the camera yeah. and you're like you're like holy crap that's bruce willis <laughs> you know <laughs> like because they have something like the camera like like hits them in a certain way where they got that like little extra twinkle and you're like oh my god 
you know, um, it's Bruce. And what is yeah, your like out of curiosity? Since you know, you're like also looking at it. You're like, wow, like. Yeah, I mean, Bruce loves Bruce loves to laugh, so we we joked around a lot. You know, that, that's really like, you know, we were we were we were joking around a lot. So I think it was just like nonstop back and forth jokes between him and I, and it was it was it was pretty funny. There was like we were filming on like a farm, and 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 you know, Bruce was like, "Oh, can I ride the horse back to my trailer?" I was like, "Yeah, no, we all ride horses here. We're just gonna ride." It was just like a back and forth. It was just like we were just, you know, very sarcastic back and forth. I love and, it. Uh, and and you know, some of it. A picture of you with like a camera. Like, is that the digital age of filmmaking that we're kind of seeing now? Like, it yeah, yeah. So that was that's my little monitor. So I don't have to like sit in Video Village. I can like be like right there next to the camera. So when they call cut, I just walk up to the actor and I'm like, hey, you know, blah blah blah, and then I kind of show them what I'm looking at. Like sometimes if they want to see. So that was me wow. with DMX. On a different movie, um, uh, X was a uh, was a, a friend of mine. We did a couple movies together. That's amazing. Yeah, no, he just he just passed away recently, right? Yeah. DMX. Wow, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Very did, sad. Did, well, I was talking about this with someone the other day because we were watching the, um, the the new Sopranos movie. Yeah, um, yeah, the many sets. I, I watched that too. That just came out, and I, I I get as a Sopranos fan, I didn't think it was great. I know it's been mixed emotions. Yeah. Um, it goes from here to here and here to here. You know, the sun is blue. The sun is yellow. People see different things. But what I want to ask you is, because it's I know the movie comes out in theaters and digital. I was having a conversation with a friend is, is how much, and I know COVID at the beginning when everything was shut down, I mean, it hurt like hell. But are you seeing a big uptick when movies premiere in digital purchases on demand? Is it the same as coming out in the theater? Are you getting the same response? I mean, yeah, so the movies do better on digital in this time than they did prior to this, you know, uh, especially because, you know, you have the same thing of, like, before COVID, you would have, like, you know, uh, the studio th movies would be in theaters, and then, like, you know, the indies would do, like, this day-and-date theatrical, like, you could get it on demand and, you know, see it in theaters. Right. Kind of like our movie's doing, and then you have just the straight-to-digital ones. Uh, now it's harder for people to differentiate. So they just watch the trailers and see what they like and go because like everything's also coming out on digital at the time. Right. So I think it gives indie people a little bit more of a chance. Uh, but at the same time, as like a as like a film purist, nothing for me beats the experience of seeing a movie in theaters. Um, yeah, me, me too. You know, I just love watching movies in theaters. It's, you know, that's that, that was like my, my sanctuary when I was a kid and, you know, watching movies, uh, it, it's just, it's its a beautiful experience seeing it with an audience um, because every every time you watch a movie, depending on the audience, it's a different uh, different experience. What was the movie when you were sitting there watching it at your sanctuary? Um, what was the movie that changed or was, was the defining moment for you to say, oh man, yeah, this is, this is clicking. So for me, it was- I, Kill I want to do this. It was Kill Bill Volume 1. Um, so, so basically, so I, I, I grew up watching movies my entire life. Uh, you know, my dad was a, was a three-time Emmy award winning writer. Um, and you know, when I would, I would, I was like five, six years old, he'd show me movies, pause it and ask me questions about what was going on in the movie wow. and stuff and started like ingraining, you know, a love for film and understanding in your DNA. Craft. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so then he took me to go see Kill Bill volume one and I was like, 12 years old so i was like too too young to see that movie at the time and, and they tried to the ticket taker tried to stop my dad from taking me in they called over the manager they're like are you sure you want your son to see this it's insanely violent and he's like yeah no so like when i went in i thought i had won the lottery like i was in there like oh man like i, I thought i just like won the powerball because i'm like i'm like i'm not supposed to be here so i'm like you know i thought i'd gotten away with something and that movie was just super you know super duper uh awesome for me. I mean, it, it was just everything because a lot of the stuff Tarantino was referencing in that film, I hadn't really seen yet. So like, it was just like, everything was kind of like, you know, crazy uh, to me. And, um, you know, it's, uh, that was like the point where I realized like film could be like super exciting and dangerous and like all this stuff, that feeling I had when I was in the theater, I was like, man, this is great. I want to do this. Yeah. And you actually, I think I read you actually, you shot a movie. Was it Jennifer? With uh, with an iPhone, right? You, Jennifer. Yes, I shot that movie on an iPhone when I was, I think, nineteen, either nineteen or twenty. But I shot the whole movie on an iPhone uh, on a five hundred dollar budget. 
So, That's a, that is unbelievable. So, $500 so, so dollar budget. I'm, I'm like the number one person who advocates if you want to make a movie, right go there. out there and do it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that ask me their advice like, hey, how do I get started on making movies? I say just go do it. Like, you know, tr filmmaking is a muscle. It's the same thing. Like a lot of the time I know we have a lot of filmmakers that are like, oh, I've only done this many movies or that many movies. I feel like I grow and get better every time I make a movie. Yeah. So why wouldn't I want to make more and more to keep building to get better and better each time? Yeah, no, it's it's just amazing when you think about it. I mean, you have done, I mean, some of the movies you've done, I mean, the first one was what, Pure Joy, then you had Hate Crime, right? Uh, yeah, the first the first one's unwatchable, so please, no, nobody watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that that was my film school. That was like me at 18 years old going like, I, I'm going to make my first movie. And it's like, it's, it's a movie that should have been like 80 minutes and it's like two and a half hours long. Like do not watch that movie. It's literally unwatchable. Oh my God. That's, that's <laughs> wild. And you now there was what, what I noticed about you is I know you've done a couple like, um, let me just grab like you've done a couple at like the condo, which is, you know, lighthearted fun. But I mean, for the most part, you're like, you know, you like going deep into, the horror films, you had the hate crime, right? Action, and, yeah. and beyond yeah. beyond the law with uh, that was with DMX and Steven Seagal. DMX. Um, is it uh, is is that your wheelhouse? Is it the action horror you know, genre? So I, so I mean, I'm a big horror fan. I got horror tattoos on me. You know, I'm, I've oh, got wow. Chucky, Chucky over here. Which oh, hold on, let me see that. Crap. One. Yeah, we got a Chucky over here, and then That's we got it. um, you know, we got. Who's that? Oh my God! So, like, I got like I'm a big horror fan. Uh, I love horror movies, um, and you know maybe it was slightly rebellious because my dad made like cartoons, uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go make horror movies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you know I, I would say that uh, I, I kind of did what I felt I could do in horror. You know, I, I, as weird as it sounds, I'm 29 years old, but I had been making horror movies for 10 years. So I, wow. I did a decade of making horror movies. I did. I, I did about like ten or eleven horror movies, uh, and I was just like, you know, it's time to time to switch genres. And so now I'm doing action, and I really like action. Um, I, I, you know, I tried. I tried. Uh, I tried comedy uh, with the condo. I realized I wasn't funny, uh, so so I, so I had to. Uh, I had to move to a different genre. <laughs> That is amazing. That's amazing. Your dad was what? Pinky in the Brain and Animaniacs. Yeah, my dad, right? my dad, dad did Pinky in the Brain, Animaniacs, Tiny Toons, The Smurfs, Scooby Doo, Darkwing. Dad did Animaniacs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Emmys, so Emmys for his writing. Yeah, he, won, he, won, he won three Emmys and, uh, and a, the first WGA award for an animation writer. That's amazing. Wow. That's and your mom does voice work, right? She did voice work. Yeah, she did yeah. voice work. She, she's uh, she she now teaches music, um, and uh, but she did voice work uh, back in the day. Um, so she did like you know Tenchi Muyo, and she also did uh, like Gem and the Holograms. Um, Gem and the Holograms, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, that's the funny thing is like I've always made jokes because I'm like. I feel like because of my upbringing, like I watch what like I would assume like maybe a serial killer watches because all I do is watch <laughs> horror movies, violent action movies, and cartoons. So it's like you know like what <laughs> like I'm just like oh yeah I watch all these cartoons. It's like there's nothing in between. I'm like oh man, that's so funny. Just, that's what you do, James. You just blame your parents. You're like you did this to me. Yeah, yeah, you did this. Ah, to me. No, no, no. I I love them. They're, they've been super supportive. Uh, you know, my dad passed away two years ago, but you know, he was he he, he was unbelievably supportive of my 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 career and choices. And, and, and your passion for baseball, Yankee. Fans yes, Yankee. yes. Well, Please, he forced that passion for baseball. He, he forced that passion for baseball. Dude, you're gonna be you're gonna be watching a game tonight. I I assume, right? I, little... I, I hope so. I hope so. It, it really depends on like you know. I got I got a little bit of work I got to do after this thing, and it depends on if I get that done in time. Uh, a little wild wild card from Fenway, man. You can't I know it's that. good. I know it's that's the game. It's 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 how does it always end up being that? You know, I know. Right? <laughs> like how is how is that like you know it's it's people are like, why is there that rivalry? Well, maybe it's because it's nonstop it always like, ends up situation. It's like one of them's gonna boot the other one out every single time. <laughs> um the movie is called Surviving the Game, and it's coming up uh October 8th. Bruce Willis, Chad Michael Murray. Uh, James, I, I assume just from uh, just from the um, the trailer, this is going to be like a, a, a typical Bruce Willis action roller coaster ride. 
It's a little different, and I'm excited for people to see it. Um, it is nonstop action. So, like, when I say nonstop action, like, from front to end, like, you are going to get literally nonstop action. There's car chases, explosions, uh, giant fight sequences. Uh, you know, it's, 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 there's not a lot of talking in this movie. I think about, like, half of the dialogue in the movie is in this trailer. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know... Uh, it's a little different because I tried to make something that was like a throwback to the action movies I grew up on that were a little bit more funny. Um, so it's, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of comedy in here, uh, like, you know, like a throwback to the Joel Silver, uh, you know, 90s action movies uh, or yeah. early 2000s, like, uh, you know, Exit Wounds or, or even like the late 80s, like Demolition Man. Yeah. Uh, so, so you know, there's 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 a good amount of comedy in here that I think is uh, going to surprise people. It's it's a lot of fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but it still has like some really insane. I think people are really going to enjoy it. James, well, in the movie that you did prior, you worked with the late DMX, and you know, yeah. a lot of a lot of us are DMX fans. Grew up on DMX. What what was that like? You know, um, I mean, with I, him and 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 hanging out with him off. Off, off the set. Yeah, X and, and I, X and I, his fans to remember him by. X and I were were became very close. Uh, we hung out multiple times. Like anytime he was in LA, we hung out. We did after after directing him in Beyond the Law. You know, I, I did. Uh, uh, I produced uh, another movie, and, and X was in it, and I hung out with him. And uh, you know, X X was really funny. Uh, you know, I remember one time. Uh, you know, on Beyond the Law, he got like a thing of now and laters, and I asked if I could have one of the now and laters, and he gave it to me. And then this is like months and months later, you know, almost a year later, we're doing uh, Fast Vengeance, which I was a producer on, and X was there, and he he asked for a bag of of purple now and laters, like from <laughs> like like a giant bag of purple now and laters uh, from from production. And so like people were like driving around trying to find these now and laters, and uh, and so they get him the now and laters. Because apparently they're not easy to find. I, 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 like it's like they, they don't just have them on store shelves anymore. So they get them after like looking around for for the, the now and laters. And he hands me the bag of now and laters, and he goes, "You liked these ones last time." And like he, he was getting them for me, but I was like, "This is hilarious." <laughs> so I was like, "I got this giant bag of now and laters. I wanted like one." I'm like, he, "Oh man." Yeah, it was always eat some now, save some for yeah, later. Man. That was the stuff. But, uh, but I mean, the first time I met uh, X. And it's okay. I'm going to do an impression of him because I used to do it in front of him, and he found it funny. Okay. Um, but uh, so the first time I meet uh, X, uh, we're we're at um, we're at uh, STK in, in in Westwood, and uh, he's going to act in the oh, movie. Wow. I go, I go, I go. Um, you know, he's sitting there and he's highlighting you know some stuff in the script. I walk up to him and he goes, he goes, "What do you want to do with your life?" And I go, I go, "Well, X, I think I'm doing it. I'm, I'm making movies." He goes, "No, no, 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 no." What do you want to do with your career? And I go, well, you know, I want to be making like Marvel movies at some point. And he goes, nah, 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 none of that, none of that. Who do you want to be? And I go, well, X, like, I guess, like, I, I want to be like the next, like, you know, uh, Robert Rodriguez or Steven Spielberg. And he goes, that's beautiful, dog. But how about you just be the first you? And I was like, this is the first like two minutes of me meeting him, and I was like, wow, like, like he just like totally broke down my whole thing. Let me know like what my actual path should be. I was like, man, that's great. Uh, he he was he was a very thoughtful person, uh, very kind to everybody he met, um, and uh, and and I think that's uh that's one thing that like you know a lot of people thought he was like this scary guy because of his gruff voice, but he was one of the nicest yeah. people you would ever meet. That's amazing. Uh, that's he was, amazing. he was super, super kind to literally everyone. James, listen, I was going to, uh, I, I was going to, su I was going to surprise you and bring Bruce Willis onto the show to say hello. Um, <laughs> but Bruce wasn't available today. So I got the next best thing. Uh, and our boy, Phil Paz, who always reminds me of Bruce. And <laughs> Phil's an acting star. Hey, hey, James. Uh, uh, that's I heard... a, well, that's Moose Billis. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Scott told me you were going to be on the show today. And, uh, man, I cannot wait for Survive the Game to come out. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Bruce Willis. And, I, man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait so much that I want to give uh, a, a, a little tribute. You know, I was watching the trailer today, and uh, it really inspired me to, uh, to do this little monologue for you. Go ahead, Philly. Kill. All about it. I'm nothing like you. I got shot today. 
and I'm tied up. And you still hit like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is the dedication to go. the wardrobe. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's right. it. Wardrobe. Yeah. Like, you get the wardrobe. Believe it or not, that, that line that Bruce gives in the trailer was a Bruce ad lib on set. Like, that was oh, was it? Yeah, he just he just came up with that, and it was, I was like, man, that's that's pretty great. Like it's and like he said that, and I was like, man, this is like full on, like you know, this is this is some John McClane shit. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, we're definitely putting this in the movie. And so like to see something that Bruce just randomly came up with end up in the trailer, and then have you like you know doing that, I'm like, oh okay, cool. That's, that's why Bruce has that magic. He's able yeah. to come up with something out of nowhere, and it becomes like the thing. That's yeah, the line, and you know, and even after all these years uh, of watching Bruce, I, if if his name's on a movie, it's going to attract a lot of people, including me. And uh, you guys, man, I can't wait for this movie to come out. What are you, what are your top five Bruce Willis movies? That's, that's go ahead, great. Philly. There you go. Oh shoot, man! All the all survive the, time. the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, number no, one. Number one. Survive the game. Number one. All the of all course, the uh, uh, the the Rising Sun one. I in fact, I just watched that the other day where where he played the uh, special forces troop. Tears of the sun. Yeah, tears of the sun. Tears of the sun and. Uh, Oh man, there's so many of them. I mean, all, all the John McClane's. Those are yeah, all of course. There, right? I mean, I can't, you can't not say her. Twelve death months. Be, <laughs> death becomes her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so not like you think of Bruce Willis. You don't think you think of action. Yes, it's synonymous. But there's other movies that he's done that's good. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Six Sense. You know, and I started watching him. My wife and I started watching him. And uh, oh, what was the what was the TV show that he was in with the uh, Civil Shepherd? Like Oh yeah, yeah, moonlighting. Yeah, that's that's that's, right. that's where we first uh, fell in love with that guy, man. And uh, you know everything in between. And he's you know he's made about a thousand movies, and uh, <laughs> I will watch them all if I can. <laughs> Used to be a bartender in New York City. Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. James, listen, man, the movie unbelievable looks great. Survive the game coming out on Friday in uh, select theaters. You can get it on demand. Chad Michael Murray, Bruce Willis, going to be a. I think this is going to be a. a a really, really uh, talked about movie. Uh, it's one of those where it looks like crazy, mindless action is what it looks like. It's it's supposed to be like tune in, drop out, have some have some popcorn, watch it with your friends, get drunk. <laughs> That's it. Well, you could do that with. I, listen, I, I try to get drunk with the many saints in Newark, but it didn't it didn't kill the the stink of the movie for me. So I, I will say I'm not. I don't want to insult that movie in any way, but I was shocked because I totally thought it was like about. Tony Soprano as a kid, and it's and not. It, it's not. You get things, really in it. Dickie Moltisanti is yeah. uh, is is the main theme, but you get Tony yeah. a little bit. But yeah, you thought it was. You know, you got shades of everybody, but it was yeah. really about uh, you know Christopher's father. Yeah, and it also gets extra points for having Ray Liotta in it because we love Ray Liotta twice. Twice, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people say he looks scary, but I, I love as him. a twin. Oh, I mean, who doesn't love Goodfellas? Goodfellas oh, is like one of the greatest movies ever made. Forget it. Yes. James, my, cat direct, my cat directed it. Martin Scorsese. <laughs> <laughs> James, listen, man. Congratulations on everything. This movie's going to be great. Uh, if you want to get Bruce or Chad Michael Murray to come on the show, we'd be glad to have them. More promotion. Uh, I, I, I will. I will. I will ask. I will ask. Listen, if if we don't ask, the answer is always no, right? <laughs> I'll ask. I'll ask. I, I, I I'll try. I'll try for sure. James, thank you, buddy. Again, it's coming out uh, on this Friday, October eighth. Uh, Chad Michael Murray, Bruce Willis, survive the game. It looks like a uh, a roller coaster of a good time. James, listen, man, go Can't Yankees wait. and go Yankees. Uh, get your work done so you could at least you know seventh inning on. You could watch. I got, I got it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You guys have been awesome. Have a great day. Nice Take to meet care, you, my nice friend. You, James. Take Bye. care. Good luck to you. Bye, buddy. Gonna be a superstar. He's yeah, a superstar. Not a, that's great, Philly kid. Uh, it's <laughs> Philly, good to see you, back. my friend. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm I'm glad to be back. I mean, uh, had a lot of fun on vacation. Uh, you know, got a lot of sun, got a lot of sand, and uh, a lot of fresh seafood, and got to hang out with the family and the grandsons, and build sand castles, and just all kinds of uh, first for our family. Nice. Uh, that was, yeah. So, but I'm glad to be back as well. Uh, Philly, listen now. I know you're coming back in about 25 minutes. We'll do yes. some singing in the OT, but. Your mug is still outselling ours, my friend. Heroforlife.us. The promo code USA1, you get 20% off. Of course, we benefit the disabled vets, and, and there's no better cause than that. Go on to heroforlife.us. They have that amazing apparel. 
Uh, but Philly kid, the, the Phil, the, the Phil mugs just flying off the shelves, bro. Flying off the shelf. I, I can't thank everybody <laughs> enough. Thank you so much for uh, supporting Suki and Scott show and, uh, and veterans. Thank you so Listen, much. Keep your Michael Buble stuff on. Cause we're going to do some yes, singing. The ladies later. are loving the look tonight. This All afternoon. right. They're like thank really you. dressed up for his, for his show back. This is exciting. <laughs> uh, Philly kid. We'll see you in like 25 minutes. Sounds good. All right, bud. Oh, that was great. Soup, that movie looks amazing, doesn't it? It does, yeah, huge. Unbelievable. Let me get back to our uh, our page here. Uh, Soup, uh, I'm very excited about our next guest. Uh, she's an actress. She's a producer. She's a model. Uh, I think she's done some singing when she was younger. Uh, I may or may not have some baby pictures of her from when she was <laughs> younger, uh, born in, in Iran, by the way. Um and she has just an absolutely, uh, you know, hot career going on right now. Shiva Nagar is coming up. Um, she's been in Heartland. Suk, I'm going to show her that little ranking where we're the number one show over Heartland on Star. I'm going to show it to her. Hopefully, you know, she might freak her out a little bit. But um, no, she's uh, she's fantastic. Uh, I- I've been trying to get her on for a long time. She was in uh, this movie called she, she I said earlier, she's on SEAL Team American on CBS. Assassin? American Assassin, which was great. Uh, we'll talk about all that stuff. She was in this movie called Becoming Burlesque. Uh, and that's what I'm going to play to give you guys a little a little, a little, little taste of who she is. Uh, here she is in Becoming Burlesque. And then we'll bring her in on the other side. Take a look. You are sweet and smart, Habibti. But surprising, happy. Hmm? What's your name, sweetie? Fatima. So, what did you want me to do? Here's your outfit. Where's the rest of it? You have turned your back on Islam. There's more than one way to be a Muslim. There is one way, the way written in the Quran. My private self cannot be hidden or revealed with clothing because I'm more than just skin. I'm your brother. You're not going to be a stripper. I forbid it. Not strippers. It's my art. It lets me be myself. It makes me feel good. Pay attention. It's my decision, cause I know what I want. Everywhere else, I'm pretending. At least on stage, I'm not lying. I, won't I don't even have a name yet. Babylon. Powerful. Immoral. People pay to look at your body and disgusting clothes. Dad, it's not like that. I dance, I lose my family. I don't dance, I lose myself. You're killing it! Whatever. It's important to be there for people, Fatima. You're going to boast your parents' hell for this. <laughs> ah, yes. Becoming burlesque. So, of course, I pick out that trailer because my mind's always in the gutter, right? Oh, well, Here she yeah. is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi, Shiva. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Finally. I'm Shiva, good. how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. Thank you. Um, I'm glad my dad is not watching because you guys <laughs> It's okay. He did see the movie though, even though I was trying so hard for him not to. But yeah, I saw you in an like, interview. Watch and you, everything. Yeah. They're just gonna be so proud of you, and then they're gonna be like, "Well, did you have to do it that way?" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, my mom is cool, but my dad. Um, when the movie came out, that he kept saying, "When is which theater?" I'm like, "It's okay, Dad. You don't need to see." Yeah, that. you don't need to see this one. <laughs> he actually went and watched it on his own <laughs> because, because oh, no, we goodness. weren't inviting him to, to watch it. So yeah, that is like that, that is so funny. <laughs> So, so Shiva, are you you're in LA now? You're in LA, right? Yes, I am back. That's great. And you're doing uh, you're doing SEAL Team on CBS, and it's uh, I mean, you have just and you know it's funny because when I first saw your Instagram or or I saw you on Twitter, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, I got I got to get her on the show because uh, I've seen you in so many things, especially um, American Assassin. Yeah. Uh, which was which was just a, I thought it was a great movie. So much action. You were you were a badass in that Amazing. flick. Unfortunately, I, if I remember correctly, I think you, did you meet your demise in that movie? Somewhere down the line, if I remember correctly, it's been a while. I mean, that was, so American Assassin was like the, amazing breakthrough role that I really wanted. And I always wanted to do action movies. And I I started my career over in Canada, but then that was sort of like, you know, my breakthrough role in, in Hollywood. And uh, and the fact that I, I, so many people, and Michael Keaton is my idol and I got to work. Yeah. With him. And uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was the most amazing experience for sure. 
and that as well. Yeah, to kick a lot of ass. Yeah, so Michael. How did that prepare you to pay, play Chief Petty Officer Mina Hassan <laughs> now in in SEAL Team? It was, you know, the funny thing is actually when we were doing the training for American Assassin, I got to train with an actual Navy SEAL, like this really oh. hardcore serious. I'm not sure if I can give out his name, but um, but he he was he was badass. And so we did uh, a whole lot lot of weapon training. You know, like the first two weeks we didn't go on camera at all. We were just training. So a lot of kickboxing, a lot of weapon training, and and there was this big warehouse. We were shooting in London, uh, UK at the time, and. Um, and I got to try so many guns and I was like, this is almost like a change of career. Like I want to just be able to just shoot guns. Just want to shoot people. Oh, oh, people. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so fun. And I got to even try, I mean, I, not in the movie, but I got to shoot with like so many different rifles and like AK-47. So it was like, it was really fun. Um, and we were playing, well, I mean, it's not really playing, but sort of like, you know, what the CIA would do and we would go and hide in the rooms and try to find a target and kind of like almost like a laser tag but a more serious version um <laughs> really serious like yeah, yeah much yeah exactly to a point where you're killing people like when <laughs> we were kids when we were kids oh uh, my god so it was just it was so fun to train for it and and I kind of wanted to continue that and I sort of got this like badass action star reputation so they wanted so I, I get a lot of this like intense uh serious roles like the seal team which is which is amazing but i also like to do some like dramedy comedy like girl next door stuff too so uh, it's nice to have a range yeah no that, that's just, yeah. that's amazing just um get a, a drama series for fox as well is that true the Are cleaning we lady can we talk about that the cleaning lady <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Yes, um, yes, it's a new show. Um, I think I can I can kind of talk about it. Yeah, the press is out. Um, it's oh my god, it's such an amazing story of immigrants, basically. So um, it's about this Cambodian um, Filipino uh, lady who who migrates uh, to save her son, and uh, and she gets involved with the wrong people, just trying to survive, and with the mobster and. Uh, and I play the mob's daughter. Ah. I like that. <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's pretty much all I can say for now. But yeah, all you can say. And it's also I, starring Jay Moore, too. Yeah, Jay Moore's in that movie. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I didn't yes. get to, uh, I missed him on set because we our scenes were different. We weren't together. But um, but yes, he, he works on the show as well. So I'm, I'm, I can't wait till, till that comes out. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. That is so funny, and and listen, I was I was talking to Suki about this before. You you've been in Heartland a little bit, right? Which mm -hmm. is an which is so popular, so many seasons. Yeah, uh, everybody in my family watches. But Shiva, I got to tell you, there is a there's a streaming service called Stir, which is owned by Sinclair Broadcasting, um, and okay. every every month they put out the rankings of the shows. And I okay. gotta I gotta show you that the top show is ours. Wow. Oh, and Heart Heartland is number two. Heartland is number two. <laughs> Can you send me that? I'm just going to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I, I hate. Congratulations. I don't want to break that bad news, but listen. In, in Heartland's defense, those aren't the the first run Heartland. I mean, it's those, been going on for years. Yeah, like, thirteen seasons now. Yeah, but I did. I didn't want to hurt your feelings on this Tuesday, but I just I had to get that Wait, out. I mean. I'm honored that I'm right <laughs> below you guys, so this is great. You know, it's right there. I love, it. and you know, you were, you were, you read your your biography, and it's like you, you were born in Iran, you came through Canada, and I think Canada. Turkey as well, right? Yeah, I, I mean, my story is insane, which um, I'm writing. It's been like a few years that I'm writing. I'm on the second draft now, but. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Like sometimes when I take a moment and think about it, because I I was born in Iran. And then, oh, you do not. I can't believe you have any pictures of me. That's my mom. Um, thank God it's not black and white. No. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was born in Iran. I was in uh, Tehran. I was born and we were there till I was about seven years old. Um, I went to grade one and then we left. So we migrated to Istanbul. Um, but Istanbul was not supposed to be permanent. It was supposed to be 
just a transit, but then we got stuck there. And, you know, long story short, uh, my dad left. Um, we sort of had to work our way to, to leave, but then we ended up living in Istanbul for about five years, almost wow. four and a half years. So I speak Turkish too. A bit. Um, and then finally we migrated to Canada. So I grew up in Toronto for the most part. And then I left on my own to come to LA uh, uh, once I felt like it was the right time. But I started my acting career in, I mean, even in Turkey, when I was a kid, I was doing a whole bunch of theater and whatnot. And then, and then all, all throughout school, high school in Toronto and then, and then LA. And when you, you came to LA, you said to yourself, that is really the strangest place I've ever been in. <laughs> LA is the strangest, right? Out of all of them. I, right. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's its own bubble in a way, but I always, I love, I love the city. I just love LA. I always wanted to be here. Um, and I, you kind of have to, if you want to keep moving forward, I feel like I'm just so happy that I started in Toronto though, because it's a smaller community and you work way up uh, faster and a lot of American shows and Canadian shows shoot in Toronto. Thank God Toronto is such a good um, uh, city for that. And then I decided to jump from the lake into the ocean in Los Angeles. I love it. Now as a, are you, are you a single actress in LA? I'm not married if that's what you mean. No, right, oh, so you're not married. No, that's exactly what he wants. No, 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 no. No, there's no, no, no. I'm not married. I'm not asking. I'm not asking for me, of course, because I'm asking to see. I, I'd like to know, like, as a single actress, do you get do you get asked out a lot? Do the guys on the set ask you out a lot? Hmm, do is it mostly true. actors who ask you out? Do do the guys at the restaurant ask you out? How does it usually work? Or are guys just too yeah. scared to come up to you in the first place? Good question. Well, no, um. Well, I, I mean, I am in a relationship at the moment, but um, it's, I, I've i had a little bit of everything, to be honest, Scott. I mean, I've been, I've been on sets where it's completely professional and, you know, every, everyone is just there for work. But then I've, I've also been on sets where if, you know, I'm working with someone and if both people are single and there's chemistry, you know, sometimes right, right. they try to, of course. Um, and... Re restaurant. I mean, yes, restaurants, bars. <laughs> I mean, people. Uh, gym. I mean, I feel like sometimes, even if you have the, you know, the resting bitch face, don't talk to me face. Sometimes <laughs> people still don't don't get it, and they still come up to you. But um, uh, but yeah, yeah. I, I've had I've had pretty much everything. There's not even one uh, department I can think of that would be different. Um. What? What and a lot of you as an actress to give obviously. yourself a voice to, you know, characters who sometimes necessarily are portrayed in a very myopic fashion in yeah. the Western world. You know, what is it like for you as a person who represents the community, represents, you know, wh wh what does that feel like for you? It's actually great. And uh, to be honest, the more I do, the more, the bigger voice I have, because I feel like it's almost like my duty to correct any stereotypes or any wrong uh, ideas um, um, and generalizations about people and my background and my culture. And, and, um, and I, I have done that. I mean, there has been on sets where like, even with American assassin or like, if I'm playing a character that I'm, I can really relate to, you know, I am playing a Persian uh, Iranian CIA agent. Um, so I bring a lot of, um, information and educational stuff from my experiences and I sometimes like I contribute to that and I'm like no this is kind of this way and not this way and and to be honest that's really my dream I want to have a voice to bring more awareness um the correct awareness about all the women that from you know that part of the world because I I was at that part of the world I grew up you know so I have a lot of experiences that I feel like I can bring into the to Hollywood yeah, and as and as like uh, you know, like I I feel like you know, as a first generation, even even out there in in, in creating community or creating mm -hmm. voice, like it almost behooves you a little bit more to carry that a little bit more, especially in the world that we live in now. You know, yeah, um, that 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 you kind of do carry the torch, whether you want to or not. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's yeah, kinda totally. get, it's kind of you're given to carry the you, the torch has been given, so you have to carry it. Yeah, I have to carry it. And I and I I want to. I really like my mom is 
I always say my mom is my hero. And I know there are so many women because I, I was obviously a lot younger when we migrated. And even though I went through a lot and my story is insane, I can only imagine yeah. what my mom and my sister went through, you know, they're older and, and my mom migrating with two daughters, you know? So when I like complain about, uh, what can we swear on this show? I don't know. Absolutely, you go ahead, young lady. About like when I'm like right? and complaining, you know, moving from Toronto to LA, I'm like, shut up! Like your mom did this from Iran <laughs> to Turkey to Canada. Like, what the fuck are you complaining about? You know, so I was like, they really thicken my skin going through experiences that I have, and um, and I love it because um, yeah, there's I feel like there's something very unique and authentic I can bring to the table uh, because I was. I had such a diverse, crazy background moving country to country. So, yeah. Um, I'm just reading that um, Shiva Nagar shuts down Facebook again uh, for cursing on the Suki and Scott show. Way to go. <laughs> oh, no. Way to go, Shiva. It's shut down again. No, no, Facebook is dead again. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I read, I know you, you you played a little piano as a kid. You, you did some singing competitions, right? Um, no. no, you didn't? No, I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, are oh, you trying I to did. get out of it? Okay. So, how old were you when you're doing? There's a piano back there, Scotty. No, is oh, is that a piano there back there? No, that's a that's there like is. a a sink or a. Is that a piano? It is a piano. Oh, Shiva, you want to play a little bit? Come on, play a piano for us a little bit. I, I mean, I, I, I could play a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't have to. Bit. It doesn't I, have to be good. So, I, I started with music when I was a kid. That's the, like I'm. I was very musically inclined. I started singing and and uh, uh, piano and guitar. And just as I was getting so good at it, I, we left and we migrated to Turkey. And then I started like a drama school there. And then just as I was trying to act more, we migrated again to Canada. So everything has been like half-assed a little bit. But yes, I bought a piano when I moved to LA because uh, I really wanted to, you know, continue and touch up on my skills. So yeah, I can play maybe like a classic yeah. something. Yeah, we, you don't even oh, have to yeah. move the camera. You just slide back there and just play a little. We'll okay. Oh, you can see it, right? Yeah, there. sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I should have hit that there. Good job, Sue. Good job. Way to get her to play the piano. Can you guys hear this? Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's it's it sounded fine. Now we just need you to sing and dance, and you'll be good to go. <laughs> no, I'm really, I really want to get back into my music. Actually, I want to take some more, like you know, music lessons and and vocal lessons, and I just love music so much. Like it's my therapy. Like when I play all the time. So yeah, no, our our audience, uh, our audience was loving that. So thank you so much. But. Uh, Shiva, thank you. Listen, you are, uh, you, listen, your career is on fire right now. Uh, people can see you on SEAL Team on CBS. You got this new new series supposedly coming out on Fox. Let, we'll keep our fingers crossed. You never know. Um, uh, I heard December. December called, and it's called. Very soon. 
Yeah. The cleaning lady, right? Yeah. With uh with, with Jay Moore. Is this the right this is the right poster for it, right? There's a few. Um, yeah, there, there's a couple of them. Out, but yes, that's that's one of them, yes. All right, great. And you can also see her in this good movie becoming burlesque. It's her, her parents' favorite movie, <laughs> uh Blood, Sweat, and Tassels. And um listen, keep going. You got a uh you, you're in, man. You're in. You got it going on, and it's uh it's all downhill from here for you. Easy peasy you. for you. Thank you. And I want a Suki and Scott mug. Just oh, you want a mug? Listen, I was going to say, all guests appearing on the Suki and Scott show get a Suki and Scott mug, uh, but that's not true. So it's... Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> well, I'm the special one, right? We could, yes, we'll definitely send you one for coming for playing that piano. Okay. <laughs> All right, Shiva. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. And and thank listen, you. when the cl when the cleaning lady really comes out, you come back on, and we'll promote the show. Yes, for sure. All right, for sure. and you thank you, you for having me, you guys. You'll you'll help us continue. You'll help us continue to beat Heartland over on that uh, Star streaming right. channel as yes. well. Yes. I'm a trainer. I'm going to be coming on your show to keep it number one. No there you Shiva, go, take care. Shiva. Thank you so much. Bye, take guys. care. Bye. So great, Sue. Isn't she great? Beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic actress. Uh, just amazing. She's really she wonderful. Idea. I love that we got her to play. That was good. I knew that was a uh, that was a piano. I, I didn't know like, if no, that was a piano. I was like, no, it's a piano. <laughs> you had a good uh, eye for that. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a piano. Say hello to everybody. Go ahead. You know uh, what? Now's Bruce, a good time. Vaughn, Philly Anna kid will be Burr, coming up. Cheryl, Jeannie Clay, I am okay. <laughs> Jeannie Clay's like, Suki, you okay? I was like, yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Suki? Are you okay? Oh, Jeannie, what am I wrong? Jeannie um, sees something Hedrick, in your face. Jeannie sees something Doris, in your facial expression. Doris Knock is once again there. Doris, uh, Doris, right here. Doris uh, Shinskachatske Knock. <laughs> Shinskachne Gnock. I bet you that G Doris, is silent. Doris, we love you. Here. Elizabeth Smith, A.M. Apolloni. Terry Hetrick, all of you, Yvonne Burns, love you, love you all. Suk, how many silent letters do you think there are in Cisnaskine Gnock? Cisnaskine. It's probably Zincockney Knock. Knock. Right? Doris Knock. <laughs> oh, Jeannie said you had a sad. She said you had a sad I face. Have a sad on. face. I don't Jeannie, have a she sad face. she got rid of her kids for the first time today. They're in school. <laughs> Uh, our boy Man, Chris Jacob. Until they come home. It's exciting. Suki, you still got Scotty on your coattails. Chris <laughs> Jacobs checking in. Uh, hi, Chris. How are you? <laughs> Christopher Jacobs. Uh, Chris is now joining us at the one o'clock hour. Yeah, well, you. yes. He saw a beautiful female actress on the show and it uh, rang you his... You know what? Uh, he, probably, he was yes, notified. He saw a beautiful woman and he's like, I'm there. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, Suki, real quick before Phil comes in. Um, I have those prom pictures for you. I just wanted to show you a couple of them. So most of them you'll recognize, but some of them you might not like. Can, tell me who this is at her prom. Can Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres at her prom. Wow, look at that dress. Um, this one you're going to know, Jennifer Aniston at her prom. Right? Look how, hair. Isn't that so wild? Uh, this one you know is Halle uh, Berry. Halle Berry, right? Um, how about this one? Pretty easy. Yeah. Little Brad gorgeous, Pitt action. Gorgeous man. <laughs> that was married to Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt. Right, right. And then you got this guy. Who's that up top left? Oh my God. SNL uh Yeah. Uh Will Will Go ahead. Go ahead, Sue. Oh God, I forgot his name. Will Will Farrell in the house. Farrell, Farrell, yes. Farrell. Uh you got uh this young lady. Lady Gaga. At her prom, Lady Gaga at her prom. Uh two more. I'll give you this one. Uh, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey at his prom. And look at this. Can you tell me who this is? Uh, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Nicely done, Soup. That's unbelievable. Seacrest. It took me a while to figure out that was him. I'm good at these things. It's crazy. Philly That's kid, you got to... We're going to have stuff that happened like when we were growing up. Like whatever happened to... We're take right. a trip down memory lane. Let's do it. Yeah, Philly kid. You got any pictures from when you were little? Mm, yeah. We're going to need. <laughs> you have gonna, a prom pic? You got oh. a picture from your prom, Phil? <laughs> I do. I want to oh, see a picture of you at the prom. prom. 
We're going to share prom <laughs> picks. <laughs> it's good stuff. Philly kid, good to see you, pal. You were off for like two weeks, man. We didn't see you. I know, man. It, and it just, felt uh... good, didn't it, Phil? It felt good. <laughs> Say it. It's okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I wake up every morning whenever I felt like waking up, which which at my advanced age is usually like 6 o'clock in the morning, my eyes swing <laughs> open. <laughs> Smoking like a true man. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, you know, when I was when I was a little bitty kid, I used to wonder why my grandfather would wake up at like three or four or five in the morning. And I like I now I, I see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> my husband listens to my son pee in the morning, goes, Wow, he held in all that. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> That's so great. Well, Philly Kid Soup, before you go, I just want to remind everybody one more time. Tomorrow, tomorrow we got Brad Bessie, Hollywood executive producer. Um, nice. The talk, entertainment tonight. Uh, and also coming back is uh, Leon Etienne. Uh, if you remember the magician who's actually on our on the open of our show now. Uh, Seven of Hearts, Suge! Okay! That's Leon. He's coming back to the show. Uh, and everybody, get on HeroForLife.us. You got the promo code USA1, 20% off all vets, uh, the disabled vets. And you got to get in there and uh, get your mugs and your shirts and your uh, underwear and, and anything else we got going on there. Suk, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, babe. Bye, guys. Welcome back, Phil. Love you to pieces. Look so handsome. Thank you, Suki. Thank you, man. Love wife. you, too. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Philly Buble in the house. What's up, Philly kid? Not too much, man. Just, uh, you know, actually the vacation continues. I, uh, I've been back for probably three or four days, and every morning I still get up and uh, I hit the hot tub and the pool, and you know drink nice. a my drink a mai tai or two, and uh, you know it, it's a rough life, you know. But somebody's got to be retired, right? Who who's got it better than you, my friend? <laughs> who's got it better than you? Listen, I have about one half of an hour uh, left to go, and then I must uh, depart the show, if you will. So we have 30 minutes of your singing and fun. Uh, but before, Philly, while you're doing that, while you're looking for a song to sing, let me pull up uh, our latest tune, which is just, uh, it, it's it was, shall I say, burning the charts, if you will? Well, I was just going to say, didn't we do a duet? Over we the did. We did a duet over the weekend. Now, yesterday, even with even with Facebook being down. I believe there were still like 30, 40,000 views on this thing. Let's pop it up and start this bad boy off, Philly Kid. Let's do it. Come on, Philly Kid, little Elvis Presley. Rounding out the weekend. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising. Mm. Higher and higher, it's burning through to my soul. Oh, girl, girl, girl. Girl, 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 you're, you're gonna, gonna set me on fire. Mm. My brain is flaming. I don't I know, know which way to go. Here we go now, Philly kid. Your, Your kisses, kisses lift me higher, like the sweet song of a choir. You light my morning sky. I'm burning love. Yeah, 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 I feel, I feel my, my temperature rising. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Help me, I'm flaming. I must be a hundred and nine. Somebody get this guy some ice, for God's sake. Burning, burning, burning. And nothing can cool me. Oh, my God, where's the yeah. thermometer? I just might turn into smoke, but I feel fine. That's good to hear, Philly kid. Because your kisses lift me higher. Like the sweet song of a choir And you light my morning sky high Burn in love Burn in love Heroforlife.us, everybody Use that promo code USA1 You're getting 20% off I mean, it is burning love over there It's coming closer The flames are not leaking my body Guy's warm. He's warm. I felt his Won't head. Won't you help me? I feel like I'm sleeping away. Mm -mm -mm. It's hard to breathe, and my chest, chest is a heaving. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. I'm burning a hole where I lay. Get the guy a cold pack yeah. for God's sakes, cause your, your kisses, kisses lift me higher. 
Like the sweet song of a choir And you light my morning sky I burn in love Oh yeah Burn in love Hunk a hunk a burn in love I'm just a hunk a hunk a burn in love He's just a hunk a I'm hunk a hunk a hunk a burn hunk a in love Oh, I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. You are a hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. My goodness, need a cold shower, dude. You're on fire, dude. <laughs> hey, you know I gotta I gotta wonder, Scotty. How many women around the world just now were standing in front of their computer or their just device? dancing, just dancing, just hunk dancing a, away? Burn and love. Everybody yeah. loved your shirt, Phil. Yeah, it was. That was, uh, was that an Air Force shirt you were wearing? That was an what Air was Force that? shirt. Yep, that was an Air Force shirt. Actually, uh, Cherry Hetrick sent that to me, and I want to say thank you for oh, that, Cherry. Oh, Cherry sent you that shirt. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't know that. Cherry never sent me a shirt. That's cool. <laughs> well, you should have went to the Air Force. Maybe I, got <laughs> <laughs> I flown in planes before. That's close enough. No, that qualifies. That qualifies. <laughs> <laughs> Philly kid, great show today. Shiva Nagar, boy, how beautiful is she? Great actress. Wow. Talented, playing the piano. Um, if I lived in LA, I would stand outside of her window with a, a big tape deck trying to get her to go out <laughs> with me. Um, and uh, uh, James Cullen um, uh, Bresick. Bresick. James Cullen yeah. Bresick. Uh, what a great movie coming out. That was oh, so I cool. can't wait. He Cannot loved you. Wait. He loved you doing that line. That's so funny. <laughs> what was, was the line again? What was it? And you still hit like a bitch. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> I've been shot. I'm tied up. <laughs> and you still hit like a bitch. I love it, man. I love it. You want to do some singing? I want to I want to get some songs in. Uh we got a hard, hard deadline uh today at 2 30. Here on yeah, the sounds East good. Coast. Yeah, just bail out whenever you when you, whenever you need to. Uh, I'm a, I'm a team player, so just let me know when you need to go. I uh, I figure we can in the next 23 minutes we can get at least four songs in. Yeah, you know this uh, today, October 5th, a uh, a singer was born in 1945. He's 77 years old today. I'm gonna sing a song. Quick little uh, quiz for you. All I'm right. I'm gonna sing a song. I'm gonna sing a song, and then I want you to name the uh, singer after I'm finished. Go ahead. And it goes something like this. Some people call me the space cowboy, yeah. Oh, that's an easy one. Some call me the gangster of love. Some people call me Maurice. Because I speak of the pompadous of love. People talk about me, baby. They say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. Uh oh, uh oh. We got a, we got a, we got a Walt Disney here. Phil stuck. Philly kid, where are you? Come back, Phil. Come back. Some people call me the space cowboy. Phil, come back. We lost you. I hope he, I hope he realizes he's gone. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get rid of that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Philly kid. Some people call me Maurice. Love when you leave me here by myself, Phil. Yeah, Cherry, send me a shirt. What do you say? You got to send me some kind of shirt, something with my picture on it, anything. Uh, anyway, uh, when Phil, Phil comes back in, we'll get him back on. Um, hopefully he's not just singing. <laughs> I could picture Phil just singing in his house. He doesn't know. <laughs> no, he's not even on. Uh, don't forget hero for life.us. You got the promo code USA one, 20% off benefiting disabled vets. Um, hold on here. He's back. <laughs> There he goes. How long before you what what verse were you on before you realized that you'd gone away? See, I think I was saying, people talk about me, baby. They say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. Now don't you worry, baby. Don't you worry. Cause I'm right here, right here, right here, right here at home. Cause I'm a picker and I'm a grinner. I'm a lover and I'm a sinner. 
I play my music in the sun. Well, I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. Oh, I'm a midnight toker. I sure don't want to hurt no one. Name that singer, Scotty. Uh, that would be uh, the same guy who sings Jungle Love. He's driving me mad. It's making me crazy, crazy. Crazy. Little Steve Miller action, huh? Steve Miller, yes. I'm going to sing Jungle Love. It's driving me mad. He also sings Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the, the future. future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. What do you want to do, Scotty? I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Let my spirit carry me. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Oh, there's a revolution. Feed the baby. Don't have enough to eat because the children got shoes on her feet. <laughs> Going off on. I'm going to peek out, Philly. You continue it. Okay. Whoa, how's the people living in the street? Whoa, there's a solution. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. I want to fly like an eagle till I'm free. Fly through the revolution. Oh, time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Yeah. Jungle love is driving me mad. It's making me crazy, crazy. It's a good song, too. Oh, yeah. They got a ton of them. And Steve Miller was also uh, We Go Jet Atlanta. Don't carry me too far away. Oh, we go jet at a liner. Cause it's here that I got to stay. Speaking of wrong lyrics, it's big old jet airliner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we go jet airliner could work as well. I like we go. We go jet at a liner. <laughs> Goodbye to all my friends at home. Goodbye to people I've trusted. I've got to go out and make my way. I might get rich, rich, rich. I might get busted. <laughs> but my heart keeps calling me backwards as I get on the 707. Riding high, I got tears in my eyes. You know you got to go through hell before you get to heaven, Scotty. We go jet at a liner. Don't carry me too far away. Woo. Oh, big old jet airliner. Cause it's here that I got to stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we uh, need, we need, our next duet's going to be um, KC and the Sunshine Band. Yeah. What, well, what was the yeah. one? What was that one? I let's see. I, I that's that's the way. That's that's the way. The way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Baby, babe, let's get together. So that's going to be a good one for us. That's yeah. going to be. That's going to be a big seller, Phil. That's going to be the chart topper, right there. That's going to be the chart topper. Our knock three times is at one point four million views. I believe <laughs> nothing has ever come close. That's the power of Tony Orlando right there, buddy. <laughs> no, but we've done other Tony Orlando songs, and yeah. they still haven't come close. I don't I don't know what it was about that song that just everybody was sharing. Yeah, you know, it's uh some songs just have the magic, you know? Yeah. Phil, great show tomorrow. Uh Leon Etienne is coming on, amazing magician. Uh, and Brad Bessie is an executive producer in Hollywood. Uh, he was the producer of The Talk, Entertainment Tonight, all kinds of things. Knows everybody. Yeah. Nice. So he's coming on. We'll have a great convo with him. And uh, we will be uh, amazed by uh, Leon Etienne, who's at the Tropicana Hotel 
uh, wow. in, Atlantic, in Atlantic City this coming Saturday. So, you know, oh, the hottest guests in the land. Oh, you know who's coming on, Phil? Who's that? Do you remember Lyle Lovett? Yeah, of course. He was married to uh, Julia Roberts. Yes. Yeah, we got Lyle Lovett coming on. I don't know any songs he sings, um, but I know he was he was a terrific singer. He had the great career. He, he, he did marry Julia Roberts at one point. Um, but he's, uh, yeah, he's coming on, uh, along with a bunch of other surprises that I don't even want to say yet. Uh, and Ke Kevin Eubanks coming back on. Sweet. Um, When's Kevin going to be back on? Kevin's back on on the 14th. Uh, he's on, uh, you bet your life now with, uh, with Jay Leno. Right. Who looks so uninterested in what he's doing. I can't even tell you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so he's coming back on Kevin Eubanks. So that'll be fun. Nice. Got some good stuff. Got a lot of good stuff behind the scenes we're working on for the distribution of the Suki and Scott show. The expansion, nice. the expansion of the show, Phil. Well, you know, uh, when you've got a couple of hosts who are, uh, you know, like yourself, Suki and Scott, that have uh, seven yeah. seven-time Emmy Award winners. And, you know, the Suki and Scott show, you started in your basement, you know, over a year ago. And now Still it's still like, in my basement, Phil. Yeah, well, you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> and uh, it's it, it's reached the, the pinnacle of, of of success. You know, people from around the world, celebrities from around the world are clamoring to be mm -hmm. on the Suki and Scott show. It's mm -hmm. the number one show in the land right now. Yeah. But you know what? This is the number one selling mug in the land right now. So uh, it all works out well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I you love know, it. Man. During my vacation, I shaved my. Uh, yeah, I noticed uh, it's not as long as I go to. Hold yeah, on, say, yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I took it yeah. down a little bit. My wife was, uh, you know, she had something to say about that. Yeah, trimmed and it up, huh? So I trimmed it up a little bit. Yeah, and you know, wanted to get some sun on my face and. Nice. You know, sometimes you got to do it. Love it. I love it. Light us up, baby. What do you want to do now? Oh, let's see. Let's how about one more uh all the Steve, hard work is done. Yeah, one more Steve Miller song and it goes something like this. Go ahead. Well, I've been looking real hard and I'm trying to find a job, but it just keeps getting tougher every day. But I gotta do my heart, cause I know in my heart. I got to please my sweet and baby, yeah. Well, I ain't superstitious and I don't get suspicious, but my woman is a friend of mine. And I know that it's true that all the things that I do will come back to me in my sweet time. So what do you want to do, Scotty? So keep on rocking me, baby. Keep on a rocking me, rocking me, rocking, baby, baby, baby. Keep on rocking. Rocking, I went, baby. <laughs> I went from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A., Northern California, where the girls are warm, so I could be with my sweet baby, yeah, Scotty. So keep on rocking me, baby. Keep on a rocking me, baby. Keep on a rocking me, rocking me, rocking, baby, baby, baby. Keep on rocking, rocking me, baby. I don't get suspicious. Don't be suspicious, babe. You know you are a friend of mine, and you know that it's true that all the things that I do are going to come back to you in your sweet time. I went from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A., Northern California, where the girls are warm, so I could hear my sweet and baby say. Finish it up, Scotty. Keep on a rocking me, baby. Keep on a rocking me, rocking me, rocking, baby, baby, baby. Keep on rocking. Rocking me, baby. Dee -dee 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 Philly, I think we got time for one more. Okay. Uh, what do you like? Up. What do you like? Well, well I'm kind of dressed a little buble ish. So, how about a little buble song? Go ahead. It goes something like this. When marimba rhythms start to play, Dance with me, make me sway. 
Oh, like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Hold me close, sway me more. Like a flower bending in the breeze. Bend with me, oh, sway with ease. When we dance, you have a way with me. Stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor. Dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. I can hear the sounds of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth. Sway me now. Nice. That went Thank perfect. you. That went perfect with your with your jacket and tie. <laughs> Philly kid, a little uh little encore finale, and then we'll wrap up this amazing show for the day. What do you like? What do you think? Uh, let me see. Let's. Uh... Everybody really, everybody missed you, Phil. They missed you like crazy. Well, let's do one of the really old standards. Kind of got me started in this business. No, it sounds funny, oh, but I just baby. can't stand the pain. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Seems to me, girl, you know I've done all I can. You see, I beg, stole, and I borrow, yeah. That's why I'm easy. Mm-hmm. How easy, Scotty? I'm easy like Sunday morning. Oh. That's why I'm easy. How easy, Scotty? I'm easy like Sunday morning. Now, why in the world would anybody put chains on me? I paid my dues to make it. Everybody wants me to be what they want me to be. I'm not happy when I try to fake it. No, that's why I'm easy. Uh, I'm easy like Sunday morning. Uh, uh, that's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. I want to be high. I want to be free to know the things I do all right. I want to be free, just me, oh, babe. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm easy. How easy, Scotty? Finish it up. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Nah. Nah. (laughs) <laughs> no, Appreciate Philly. everybody showing up. You guys take it easy like a Sunday morning. Uh Philly kid, we gotta have another pop-up like sometime when when it's unexpected. We'll we'll sell some mugs and some shirts and all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh just do some singing. Um sounds fun. Let's do it anytime. Yeah, you know me. You know, I'm uh, I'm a team player. Uh, I'm back from vacation now. So I'm uh, Philly's back and bigger than life. He's drinking ready coffee to go. in a jacuzzi. So you should listen. You should just bring your camera over to the jacuzzi, and you could hang in there and just sing from the jacuzzi. I need. I need to do. We need to do a show from the jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, good day, sweetheart. Well, well it's time well, to go. Oh, do, 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 do. Good day, sweetheart. Oh, it's time to go. Da, 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 da. We hate to leave you, but. We really must say, oh, good night, 
sweet sweetheart. Sweetheart. Good, Good night. night. Good day, everybody. Come on, Philly kid, little Elvis Presley. Rounding out the weekend. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising. Mm-hmm. Higher and higher, it's burning through to my soul. Oh, girl, girl, girl. Girl, 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 girl. You're, you're gonna, gonna set me on fire. Mm-hmm. My brain is flaming. I don't, I don't know, know which way to go. Here we go now, Philly kid. Your kisses lift me higher Like the sweet song of a choir You light my morning sky I'm burning love Yeah, 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 yeah. I, feel I feel my temperature rising Ooh, it's getting hot in here Help me, I'm flaming I must be a hundred and nine Somebody get this guy some ice, for God's sake Burning, burning, burning and nothing can cool me. Oh my God, where's the yeah. thermometer? I just might turn into smoke, but I feel fine. That's good to hear, Philly kid. Cause, Cause your kisses lift me higher, like the sweet song of a choir. And you light my morning sky, I burn in love. Burn in love. HeroForLife.us, everybody. Use that promo code USA1. You're getting 20% off. I mean, it is burning love over there. It's coming closer. The flames are not leaking my body. Guy's mm. warm. He's warm. I felt his Won't head. Won't you help me? I feel like I'm sleeping away. Mm-mm-mm. It's hard to breathe. And my chest, chest is a heaving. Lord have mercy, I'm burning a hole where I lay. Get the guy a cold pack yeah. for God's sakes, cause your kisses lift me higher. Like the sweet song of a choir. And you light my morning sky, I burn in love. Oh yeah. Burn in love. Hunk a hunk of burn in love. I'm just a hunk a hunk of burn in love. He's just a hunk of hunk of hunk a hunk of burn in love. Oh, I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. You are a hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. My goodness.